Hey, Virgo Summon Rising Venus. This is what we got going on for October 16th and 17th of the weekend spread uh, 2021. To make a purchase, it's tarotbarbie.com. To make a donation, it's also tarotbarbie.com. You can find all that information in the description box below underneath this video. And also on my community board there, Virgos are right. Let's get it to He's coming with the, the Fool, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands energy right there. You guys could have been dealing with a Virgo, a Gemini, an Aries, a Pisces, a Taurus, a Libra, um, a Cancer... And um, heavy on the Cancer Pisces Scorpio and Gemini Libra Aquarius. There, Virgos, all right. So, Virgos, you guys might not want to make a decision here at the moment. Coming with the full card in reverse, something may look good. Good, somebody, something might look good to you with the Ace of Pentacles there. But some of you guys may not want to take that leap of faith to go in that direction. You guys don't feel like it's going to be a good idea with the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you guys might be a little bit fearful. You're going to have to take another look here, Virgos. If you guys ended up signing some sort of contract policy, whatever the case is, some sort of concealment is going to end up coming to. You're going to end up figuring it out, Virgos, all right? And then you're going to end up becoming fearful. But it's saying here you might not have to be afraid of anything at the end of the day. Some of you guys may have to be fearful. And then another set of you guys, you guys might be fearful for no reason whatsoever coming with the with the Hermit card in reverse or the Magician card. You guys might feel like this person <clears throat> did what they needed to do for you guys to go in that direction. Regardless, though, Emperor position, uh, the Ace of Wands, and the Hangman in reverse. So... It looks like everything is fine, but somebody here is also being a little bit selfish coming in with the hangman in reverse here, Virgos. Uh, you guys might also be starting to see the shit for exactly what it is. You guys have a lot of jealous people around you, Virgos. <clears throat> you guys have a lot of people jealous around you. Uh, at the end of the day, they're very jealous. They're very envious of you coming with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Knight of, Sword, Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. These people are going to be really, really upset and really unhappy with the fact that you're celebrating. What are you guys celebrating, Virgos? But they're jealous and they're envious because you you'd be celebrating. You're happy, and they're just they're these are these are um, hidden enemies, Virgos, for you guys. So they don't show their faces, but you are very well aware of it with the High Priestess energy there. You guys have fought for your position, and you guys are on your way to success and happiness here with the Ten of Cups. Whatever it is that you're celebrating, that your haters, that your enemies don't like, make sure you guys shine right in front of their faces, Virgos, and let them see that you are very much so merriment. You're happy. You're doing your thing. These people are so friggin' jealous and envious of the fact that you're celebrating your success, and they cannot stand it for the life of them. So whatever it is that you guys are choosing to celebrate... Whatever it is that you guys are leveling up in life, whatever good news you guys have coming towards you, make sure that y'all be knowing that you be living your best life and that you're absolutely happy. You guys fought for this, Virgos. You are the nine of wands. Are you guys kidding me right now? You fought for this position. You fought where it is that you guys are meant to be at this exact moment and at this precise time at the, as of right now. Hidden enemies. These enemies for you, they're not they're gonna have to sit there and watch you eat legit Virgos. They really are. You you fought. You fought so fucking hard to be where it is that you are today. And not one person was able to scoop you up and help you out during this journey that you guys were on. Be proud of yourselves, Virgos. They have no choice but to sit there and watch you with the page of wands, with the page of swords energy. They're upset. They're upset because you're the Nine of Pentacles. You're spiritual and you're beautiful and you're living life and you're cute and you're handsome and you're doing your thing there, Virgos, all right? They really, really upset about it. They can't, they have no choice but to watch. You guys have a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who acts and pretends to be something that they're not. This person is going to retreat, rest, and if they end up ghosting you, you guys are gonna be like wondering like, what happened? What happened? <laughs> Maybe this person here is like, Causing all these people to friggin be hating on you or whatever the case is to be jealous and envious of you Virgos But it's saying that this person is such a weak person uh, They are gonna retreat with the four of swords energy and most likely leave you alone for the next little while But I'm sure that they'll be able to come back for you guys Virgos coming with the eight of wands <laughs> Nothing is gonna be moving in these people's energies Virgos anymore. They're so envious. These are arrows of jealousy So these people are like literally projecting evil eye onto you. Okay, they're very careless and nothing is going to be going in their favor. Even their abundance is not going to be going in their favor anymore. It's going to be slowed down because they need to start staying in their own lane instead of watching what other people are doing here. Uh, these people are just sitting there watching. Like, how did you do it? All right, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy is looking, is, is, is realizing and seeing shit for what it is. This person is, oh, um, they're, they're, they're getting their shit done. They're, they're like, how, how? How does this Virgo, how does this Virgo fight for what it is that they want? How do they keep going? How? Uh, Knight, of, Knight of Sword, Knight of Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
uh, king of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, nine of swords, and the world card there. This, these people are going to be uh, stressed out. They're not going to know what to do. These people might be at a distance from here. They might have to watch you. Um, I don't know, however, social media, whatever the case is. But somebody here is very angry while the other person is just sitting there. So someone is going to be in their feelings and they're going to be talking a whole lot of shit. Five of Wands, there's a lot of competition when it comes to you guys' workplace coming in with the tower, with the Eight of Pentacles, Tower card right there, Virgos. But it's saying, don't worry. Don't even worry about these, these people. Don't worry about the people who are you're competing in. Just continue to move forward and focus on yourself and focus on your future here, Virgos, because you guys are going to continue to uh, ascend on a spiritual level. Uh, two of Wands, you guys have a lot of riches coming towards you, and they want you to guys to be in your path. There's somebody here, Queen of Wands energy, who's only focused on money and only wants money coming in with the wheel card, the Queen of Wands, and the Two of Wands energy there. At the end of the day, that could be a karmic's energy, or this is just saying that Virgos, you guys have success coming towards you guys here, right? Coming in with the wheel card right there for you guys. Uh, Knight of Wands. Somebody here might be having the tendency to travel just now, Virgos, to come and come through and see you guys. Leo energy, lovers card. This person still loves you. They're very much so attracted to you still. Uh, you guys have. Somebody here who's lusting on you, obsessing over you as well, just because of the fact that you're so beautiful, you're you're very charismatic, you're strong as well, and uh, you're very much so powerful, Virgos. And it, it's that saying, it's like, um, I don't know what the hell that saying is, but it's like, whatever demon you send my way, uh, you're more powerful than it, all right? Coming with the Five of Cups. People are going to be sad. Whoever is going on a trip at the moment or about to go on a trip, they're going to end up being sad about it. Seven of Wands, you can defend yourself. Your enemies cannot reach you even if they wanted to, Virgos. It is what it is at the end of the day. Uh, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ah, seven of Swords. These people are going to be are trying to steal your... They're going to try and steal your happiness from you. They're going to try and steal what it is that you created for yourself. Five of Swords. Mm -mm. All right, Aquarius energy here. They're going to be going through a whole lot of shit with the Five of Swords energy there, Virgo. This is somebody who has a family here with the Four of Wands. They're going to be nothing but stressed out with the Eight of Swords because you're sitting there winning at life with the Six of Wands. You're being recognized now and you're leaving this shit behind. You're not looking forward. You're not looking at the past anymore. You're just like, you know what? I don't have time for this shit. I'm going to keep, I'm going to continue to move on. I've, I've earned what it is that I'm doing. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, who is going through a lot of sadness, betrayal at the moment. They're going through a lot of fights here as well, but they may not be expressing anything to anybody either. Two of Swords here. This person's a little bit indecisive on how they're going to want to come back towards you with the Page of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person misses you very much. They want to come towards you and express to you how they feel. They are going through a lot of destruction uh, of energy uh, as of right now. They're worried that... If they were to come back for you, they're not going to be able to get you back. They're worried that you're going to end up rejecting them, but they are still, still, but they're still going to come back for you, Virgos, to communicate with you. Maybe even bring you a gift. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Hierophant, Taurus, Energy. This person's going to make the decision to come back for you guys. Somebody here is also married, Virgos, and they're trying to figure out on whether or not they want to get a divorce or they want to still be married. So they're going to have to make that decision just now. But whatever decision that they end up making is going to definitely be of a heartache for them and for you as well. You guys are going to have to come to the decision with the judgment card there. <sighs> to the Queen of Pentacles, to the Ten of Wands. Something here is causing a lot of a burden for you guys. And with the Five of Pentacles, somebody here is about to get divorce papers coming in for them. Uh, Virgos, all right, and some, some of you guys may not even be expecting that you guys are getting a divorce just now, but it might be coming in for somebody here. Uh, someone's filled with a lot of burden, a lot of obstacles, trying to, like, the burdens are coming towards you. It's like shit, like, it's like one thing after the another, one thing after the other. Regardless, though, people are hating asses. They be watching you be happy. Continue to celebrate yourself, Virgos, because if you're not going to celebrate yourself, then who the hell is going to celebrate for you? So be your own hero, do your own thing, and take care of yourself and enjoy. And if they don't like it, well, then you know what? Who cares at the end of the day? You're not living for them anyway. You're living for yourself. So do your thing. Be proud of yourself. Continue to do what it is that you, whatever it is that you guys are doing. And uh, people are going to find out there's a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who's a faker. And that faker person is going to end up retreating and kind of like 
going on the D low for the next little while so they don't end up having to be in the energy of other people. And um, uh, you guys have fought really, really hard, Virgos, to be where it is that you guys are at today. It didn't come easy for you guys. Y you guys really, you guys were going through some sort of spiritual war zone here with the chariot card. You guys were really going through a spiritual war, war zone with the chariot card. And you guys fought really, really hard to be doing what it is that you guys are doing. Make sure you guys understand this real quickly, Virgos. Uh, the jealousy and the envy that these people portray on you with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, they've been, it's, it, they've been acting like they're in war with you with the Knight of Swords energy. And they be, and they be coming in and they don't want you to be happy. They don't want you to be celebrating. All right. These are hidden enemies for you. The high priestess, the nine of wands, and you guys fought for it. You have every reason to be happy. You have every reason in the world to be happy, Virgos. Do not allow anyone to take away what you created for yourself. If they're hating asses, if they are putting themselves in competition with you when you're still focused on yourself, then clearly you're doing something right. Never allow yourself to be in a position where you're going to stop growing and you're going to stop being happy just to make other people happy. Who cares about what these other people are doing? These people are attacking somebody who don't even care about them. So they're so worried about you for whatever reason it is. Uh, at the end of the day, though, Virgos, you have a lot of happiness. These are hidden enemies. They think they're hiding, but you guys know exactly who these people are. It is what it is, Virgos. Uh, you can run, but you can't hide. Straight up. Thanks, cuties. Bye.